Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. So today I'm actually showing you my updated bookshelf tour. I feel like every video that I upload someone's always asking for an updated bookshelf tour so I hope you guys are wanting this and will enjoy the video so my last bookshelf tour was back in the beginning of January and I feel like enough time passed and definitely a lot of things changed because now I have three bookshelves instead of two so I feel like if you're watching this video the chances are very high that I you either one have an ambition to one day have your own book on your own bookshelf or see it on somebody else's bookshelf tour or you are a fellow booktuber or you are very active in the bookstagram community and love taking photos or you really enjoy planning and bullet journaling I know because I speak with a lot of you guys and that is why you find my channel as well because you google for such things so this video is sponsored by Skillshare which is an online learning platform so Skillshare actually offer over 19,000 online classes and courses amongst which there are a lot on photography with your DSLR or with your smartphone and making those photographs look very professional for there are a lot of other classes on creative subjects such as illustrating graphic design filmmaking production for those of you who love to plan there's a lot of videos for beginners and advanced bullet journaling there's also a lot of business related topics but if you're not into these type of things there's basically a course on everything I am also using this platform and currently I am mentally preparing to start writing again it's very daunting when you feel like you're starting already late but I already found a lot of classes that I marked for to watch later Skillshare is also more affordable than most online learning platforms it costs less than ten dollars per month for unlimited access to all of those classes but what's even more exciting is that I can actually offer the first 500 people who click the link down below two free months of Skillshare premium it does only apply for the first 500 people so I highly highly suggest going over there and trying it out because you literally have nothing to lose and potentially some knowledge to gain the link is gonna be in the description bar down below and in the first comment thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and by doing so supporting this channel I do really hope that I rekindle my love for writing or basically just overtake my fear of writing and failing <laughs> one day when I make another update of my bookshelf it's gonna actually have my book on it as well because that would just be amazing but anyway I think without further ado let's go ahead and look at the shelf okay so let's get this started I am starting from the left top side of the shelves and I'm gonna work my way through the bottom my shelves currently are like a loose type of rainbow arrangement so series might be split if that's something that really annoys you I'm sorry personally it doesn't bother me whatsoever and that really what matters when it comes to your shelves you know I will try and not take too long so let's get going so first we got Nevernight and God's Grave both by Jay Kristoff Caraval by Stephanie Garber and also all of the volumes of Why the Last Man then as you can see I have Heartless by Marissa Meyer the Cruel Prince by Holly Black, Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett, The Sellout by Paul Beatty, and One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus. And I got this Red Queen Pop Funko that I'm fairly certain I got in one of the boxes. <laughs> then we got a couple of books by V.E. Schwab, so I have Vicious and the Darker Shade of Magic series. Nod by Adrian Barnes, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Cassie, An Ark of the Sacrifice Bog uh, by Martin Stewart, New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson, One Punch Man Manga Volumes 8 and 9, Same Time that is written by a fellow bookstagrammer, and the entirety of the Raven Cycle books by Maggie Stewater. At the moment this Honey Duke's Money Bank also lives on this shelf as well as this little guy. Then we got a section for Brandon Sanderson. I love it when the books look the same even from different series because they can sort of stay together, especially these ones. So we have the Mistborn trilogy, Steelheart, and the first book of the Stormlight Archive. This is just the first book split in two because it's massive. <laughs> then we got Vicious by Ryan Grodden, Renegades by Marissa Meyer, Our Demon's Best Friends by Diana Scott, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, Invisible Planets, short story collection uh, edited and translated by Ken Liu, Illidan by William King, The Invasion by Peter O'Gullin, Orange Volume 1 or Tome 1 by Ichigo Takano, Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer, Uprooted by Naomi Novik, The Wisdom of Psychopaths by Kevin Dutton, and The Black Obelisk by Eric Maria Remark. Moving down one level, these are most of the Game of Thrones books. They're basically being used to display this beautiful bookend. 
I'm not gonna swap them about, you probably all know the Game of Thrones series and it's by George R. Martin. Then we got The Outwalkers by Fiona Shaw, Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen, The Blade Itself by Joey Abercrombie, Dune by Frank Herbert, Attack on Titan volumes 14 and 15, Doomsday Book by Connie Willis, Foundation by Isaac Asimov, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake, Early Riser by Jasper Ford, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, 10th Anniversary Edition, and Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. We also got a little Luna and the Gryffindor lion head here. And this little buddy that was a gift from Rebecca and it's basically a replica of money that is used in The Name of the Wind, which is my favorite book, so very treasured. Next shelf is orange to red. So we got A Torch Against the Night by Sabata here, Cersei by Madeline Miller, Ink by Alice Broadway, Ark of the Boneless Mercies by April Genevieve Huckle. I'm not sure. My first edition of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This thing. Behind the frame there's another Game of Thrones book. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist volumes 4, 5 and 6. My English edition of Harry Potter and Half-Blood Prince. When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandia Menon. The Illumini Files Trilogy by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the 20th year of anniversary edition, which has the colored spine. On the shelf I have my Go Away I'm Reading candle. The Full Metal Alchemist pocket watch, that was a gift from Jess. Over there I have a little Harry Potter figure. And right here I have the little photograph of the Weasley family. Okie dokie, the red shelf. We got Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. Spark by Alice Broadway. All of This Is True by Ligia de Penaflor. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodden. The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Then we got Scythe by Neil Shusterman, Godblind by Anna Stevens, and The Wrath and the Dawn by Rene Adier. I have this massive collection of the Sherlock Holmes stories. Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, Battle Royale by Koshim Takami, and Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. On this shelf I have the End of the Year Feast candle and a little Dragon's Blood potion vial on top of the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix book. Okay, so as some of you may know, the middle row of all of my three shelves are just Harry Potter stuff. So the first one is all about sweets and pink stuff, just very playful. Okay, so first off I have some jelly beans here that I got from Book Box Club and it has, it has Bellatrix. At the back here I have some collectible wizard cards from the Chocolate Frogs. Top left is McGonagall, top right is Severus Snape, the middle is Godric Gryffindor, bottom left is Lupin and bottom right is Victor Crumb. I got the actual chocolate frog box here and then I have this honeydukes box that came in loot crate and I actually keep all of most of my pins and small collectible things in here but that's for another video. I also have some wizard money here. Then we have a figure of Luna and her Spectre Spec in the background there. A wand permit, some tickets for the night bus. Anything from the trolley deer with the theme for the candy right here. I also have umbrage plates. The birdie bots every flavor bean, some packets of that. I have uh, wrappings of the chocolate frog that don't come in the box in the corner there. I have a little cozy elf lolly from Honeydukes. This little guy here just is just because it fits the theme and I stick that one in it. <laughs> And that's really it for how this shelf looks at the moment. Moving on to my potions shelf, or sort of potions shelf. On the left I have some stamps. So I have one for Hogwarts, one for Gryffindor, and one for the, the Chamber of Secrets door. I got my acceptance letter in the corner there as well, next to the feather and some ink from Flourish and Blood. I kept the envelope because, you know, you want to keep these things. And then I have various potions. So uh, all of the smaller potions came in the Gobstone Alley boxes and I DIY'd the big jars of what actually is tea that also came from Gobstone Alley but I sort of repurposed them to look like potions on this shelf and there's definitely gonna be more of them so let me get you through those. So on the left we have Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder then a vial of unicorn's blood. I like to think that no unicorns were harmed in the extraction of this. <laughs> then we have McGonagall's Flav favorite malt tea, have Blood Princess tea, Luna Lovegood's favorite tea, Remus Lupin's, Professor Sprout's healing garden tea, Tessamancy with Professor Trelawney. Now here below we have some ingredients like Gillyweed, Flu Powder, Veritas Serum, Dragon Heart Strings, and Amarantia. Now we have this that is technically bath salts but it looks 
bay fitting here so it stays here. And this is also currently the home for my time turner. We come to the third and last shelf that is exclusively dedicated to Harry Potter. I have this one stand that I DIY'd because everything else is super expensive. If you're curious, it's on my channel, it's super easy, it comes in a white acrylic and you just DIY it to look like a wooden stand. I don't keep all of my ones here but the majority is. On the right there we have some boxes of the ones that came in Gobstone Alley. I think they're very beautiful so I just keep them on display at the moment. Uh, I have a little feather on top of it and then there's another DIY house cup scores for the houses. So Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. At the moment I'm keeping score for how the Newt's Readathon house cup challenge is going. I, as you can see currently Hufflepuff is crashing with everyone but it just began so everything can happen. At some point I have made an a diagonally set for myself when I started making candles. So we have Ollivanders here, Flourish and Blots, Gringotts and Florian's Ice Cream Parlor. We have Don't Forget Your Sam McCoy by Laura Avery, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, The Sun Is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, and The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. We have Honor Against Thieves by Rachel Kane and Anne Aguirre. My first editions of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Autobiography by Christina Lauren, Alice's Adventure in Wonderland, Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foody, Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wine Jones, My Lady Jane and My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton and Jodie Meadows, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, I have the F Feelings, by Dr. Michael Bennett and Sarah Bennett, Wicked Like a Wildfire by Lana Popovich, Throne of Glass by Sarah G. Maas, World Mythology in Bite Sized Chunks by Mark Daniels, The Brink of Darkness and the Edge of Everything by Jeff Giles. I have this amazing ceramic chocolate frog dish that just lives here together with this potion that didn't really fit color wise in the potion <laughs> shell and the Ministry of Magic identity card pass. Over here I have uh, five books for the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This one right here is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Illustrated Edition and this is the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them Illustrated Edition as well. The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. The Extinction Trials by S.M. Wilson. Frost Like Night by Sarah Rash. The Queens of Innes Lair by Tessa Gratton. State of Sorrow by Belinda Salisbury. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Highly recommend to everyone forever. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The Sparrow by Mary Doria Russell. A Jigsaw of Fire and Stars by Yabba Bado. And Beyond the Darkened Shore by Jessica Lee. The Daring Book for for Girls by Andrea Buchanan and Miriam Peskovic. That was a gift from Kelly, one of you guys. The Newt Scamander book. A Court of Thorns and Roses series or a, a Court of This and That series. But I have it somewhat hiding behind this beautiful book cover that Andrea, my friend from Instagram, gifted to me and is just everything is so beautiful. <laughs> the Upside of Unrequited by Becky Arbotal, Quidditch Through the Ages, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban as well as Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Room by Emma Donahue, The Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold, They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera, From Twinkle with Love by Sandia Menon, Pacifica by Kristen Simmons, Genesis by Bernard Beckett, Everless by Sarah Holland, Full Metal Alchemist manga tomes 1 and 2, no actually tomes 1 and 3, The Miniatures by Jesse Burton, One Dark Throne by Kendra Blake, The Little Book Called What It Feels Like that basically tells you a lot of short stories of what it feels like to be struck by lightning and such like things like that. Record of a Spaceborn Few by Becky Chambers. We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. And The Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and Harry Potter and the Hablet Prince. The Air Affair by Jesper Ford. Three volumes of the World of Warcraft Chronicles. Bring Me Their Hearts by Sarah Wolf. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. The Golem and the Genie by Helena Wecker, Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Things a Bright Girl Can Do by Sally Nichols, Brain on Fire by Susanna Cahalan, Glass Town by Steven Seville, The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, Ancillary Justice by Anne Lickie, and Timekeeper by Tara Sim. And we also have a little Harry Potter with his golden egg living on this shelf. On the next shelf I have this 
Gryffindor cauldron that I keep three of the ones that don't really match the other ones and the one stand. They're either too thick to fit in into the actual holder or we have this hilarious Ron's one that is spellotape but it's obviously like the shape of it is uh, crooked and everyone agreed with me that it just looked really annoying <laughs> on the stand next to all of the other straight ones. So I have a couple of those here. We have the Psychopath Test by John Ronson, The Sculptor by Scott McLeod, Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie, Shadow Run by by Adrian Strickland and Michael Miller, The Martian by Andy Weir, The Fractured Man by Juliet Conlin. We have Snow Like Ashes and Eyes Like Fire, the books that I haven't read yet but owned for forever because I think those are my favorite covers on the book that I've ever seen. <laughs> then we have these beautiful editions of uh, The Lies of Lochlamora and The Name of the Wind, but I don't know if you can see it, but if I twist it, can you see it? Yeah, there you go, it's foiled. <laughs> so they're really beautiful and Neutral. Fury and Grace by Tracy Banghart. Forest of the Thousand Lanterns that I actually got rid of the dust jacket because I really didn't like it. But it has a beautiful spine so it's fine. <laughs> and S by JG Abrams. And we have another little Harry Potter pop Funko there. That's probably the only one that still has a wand that's not broken by a cat. <laughs> and this is one with the Marauders map. I have a little Hogwarts notebook and a little an even smaller D8 notebook. Okay, then we have this shelf that actually has the last one that I own on it, just because it fit the scale a bit better. I'm gonna I'm gonna move it though now. <laughs> so first we have Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett right here. And then behind it we have the Throne of Glass series by Sarah G. Mass. I'm not gonna pull them out because those candles would fall, which I will show you in a second. Then next to it I have the Six of Crows duology. The Crooked Kingdom is behind it. Oh. God damn. We have Roar by Cora Carmack. The Call by Peter O'Gullen. Elusive by Emily Lloyd Jones. Little book called Sum by David Eagleman. Then I have the on Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick, which I'm still salty about because this is not the version that I ordered and it came with this massive sticker and it's painful. Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. Nemesis by Anna Banks. Roseblood by A.G. Howard. The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. And the Themis File Trilogy that I also highly recommend by Sylvian Noble. So here's the candle set that I make. Uh, we have Nina, Kaz, Matthias, Inej, Wylan and Jesper. We have The Secrets of the Universe and 100 Symbols by Sarah Bert. The Last Name Sarah by Kristen Cicerelli. The Name of the Wind and the Wise Man's Fear. This book is extremely, extremely precious to me. This is the book that took me out of a very, very long slump and is also my favorite book. I found it in a used bookshop. It's very well loved. It's falling apart, but it will forever stay with me. I also have Rogues by a variety of authors for their short stories. The Universe Next Doors. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet and A Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. The Killing Moon by N.K. Jeminson. Jemison, The Bear and the Nightingale and The Girl and the Tower by Catherine Arden, A Court of Rost and Starlight by Sarah Jamas for some reason in here, <laughs> Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, Pantomime by Laura Lamb, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Lifelike by Jay Kristoff, The Wicked King by Kay Ancrum, Stranger of Tempest by Tom Lloyd, and the illustrated A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking. On this shelf I have a little starfall candle and also this little Niffler. So on the very left here I have the collection of the Avatar The Last Airbender comics. I also have the Harry Potter one collection um, guide and the first and second illustrated Harry Potter editions. Then there is this beautiful version of the Necronomic. It is the best weird tales of the H.P. Lovecraft and this is a gift from AJ. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. Packing for Mars by Mary Roach. A Shiver of Snow and Sky by Lisa Ludek. Flashfall by Jenny Moyer. Children of Blood and Bone that is also a gift from Rebecca, one of you guys, and it's by Tommy Adiani. Fury Born by Claire Legrand. <laughs> the Last Wish that's basically a book for the Witcher games. Vasa and the Night by Sarah Porter and The Fandom by Anna Day. And we also got Bellatrix living on this shelf. And because it's currently the news readathon time, uh, my TBR tray also holds quite a few books that are not currently on my shelf because they're on my TBR. <laughs> we got The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James, Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young, The Sender Comic, Orange Volume 2, Tokyo Ghoul Volume 1, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Fantastic Beast Original Screenplay, The Savage Song by the E. Schwab, uh, Mara Comic, 
Lock and Key Volume 4, Dead Man Wonderland Volume 1, Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rhoda Beleza, Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Ruffus, and The Wicked Thief by Shay Earnshaw. And this is the last shelf that I'm not gonna pull everything out of, but I will tell you briefly what I have. This is basically where most of the comics live. Some of the mangas you've already seen but most of the comics live here, or graphic novels. I do have a children's book right here, it's called Hortense and the Shadow. So I have The Killing Joke right here, Watchmen, Astonishing X-Men, uh, these are, um, what are they called? Death Sentence, we only got this. We got this because it's a Scottish creator that basically is based in the city that we studied with Logan. They weren't my favorite though. <laughs> Kill Shakespeare, A Sea of Troubles, Hack Slash, Omnibus, Volume 1, Day Tripper, Deadpool the Complete Collection, Volume 3, Low, The Wicked and the Divine, uh, Volume 1, Eye Zombie, Volume 1, Hex Cove, which I highly recommend anyone to look into. <laughs> it's hilarious. Then I have Volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and technically 0, <laughs> of uh, Ferris, which is a side series of the fables. Then I have volumes 1 to 8 of Saga, uh, then I have volume 1 of Paper Girls, volume 1 and 2 of Rat Queens, The Edge Knight and The Sword, Sworn Sword, which are the Game of Thrones graphic novels, Ninth season of Charmed, and then volume 1 of 10th season of Charmed, if I'm getting it correctly, I think so. And then I have one volumes 1 to 6 of Lock and Key, the fourth one I've shown you in the TBR tray. And then I have Monstrous volumes 1 and 2. I got Nimona right here, two volumes of Death Note, the black editions with the sprayed black pages, and the Wrinkle in Time right there, and then a few crappy cooking books that just travel here from the kitchen. They're not great, I do not recommend any of them. <laughs> And that is everything that was the bookshelf store for what it looks like at this moment, which is August 2018. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this, which shelf was your favorite? Uh, did you like the layout? I didn't go through the books on my Kindle or the books on my Audible and script or the ones that I borrowed from the library, but obviously I just... It's not on the bookshelf, so it's fine. It doesn't count. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you next time. Bye!